derive the constraint relationship between the velocities of three blocks. Okay. As I said, the system contains two pulleys, three blocks. First, understand the physicality of the system. And then we will find the constraint relationship between the velocities of three blocks. Identify the number of strings and number of blocks. Okay, how many things are moving? One block, two block, three block. Don't forget the pulley is also moving. So four movables and two strings. Check. Divide it into intercepts and assume variables. Let's say block M1 goes upwards with V1. Block M2 goes downwards with V2. Block M3 goes downwards with V3. And the pulley goes downwards with Vp. And we are supposed to find the relationship. The pulley formula is for your reference on the right hand side. Are you ready? Okay. First we start with L1, L2. Now without further ado, L1 dot plus L2 dot is equal to 0. Yes sir. L1 dot. Upper point is fixed, lower point goes up and the rate is minus V1. Why minus? Because if the block M1 goes up, the L1 part decreases and L2 part is Vp. Do you realize I could have just said it anyways because if block M1 goes up, the, the movable, movable pulley has to go down. But still, for your reference, I have proved it. Another one. L3 dot, L4 dot is 0. L3 dot, trapped between these two points. One point goes down, one point goes down. Can you comment which one? Uh, is it increasing or decreasing? You can't. But in life, be positive. So write in the increasing sense. Plus, if you write plus, that means the forward guy should be faster. So V2 minus V2. L4, again be positive. Plus, V3 minus Vp is equal to 0. Or, what do you get? Vp is equal to V2 plus V3 by 2. The pulley formula is right there for your reference. Are all three, the movable pulley, block 2, block 3. I repeat, movable pulley, block 2, block 3. Do you agree that just this part, do you agree just the, that just this part is the movable pulley part? Can I apply pulley formula on this part? That's why in the last class I told you, either that movable pulley and two block could be a system in itself or a part of a bigger system. Can you see in the yellow circle, the movable pulley system, one pulley, two blocks, apply the formula. In the formula are all three in same direction. Yes, that means V pulley is equal to V2 plus V3 by 2 is correct. So again, I've got equation number two for you in two ways. One by L3, L4 method and the other by pulley formula method. What to do now? Nothing. Equate. So what's the constraint relation? Constraint relation is V1 is equal to V2 plus V3 by 2. Either that's the answer. Yeah, that's the answer. Let me write it properly, nicely, in good writing. Remember, ch childhood, neatness used to have marks. <laughs> Something like that. V1 is equal to V2 plus V3. There you go. For more videos and live lectures on the JEE, click on the subscribe button now.